The primary evidence for the Big Bang cosmological model is cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, and the redshift of galactic light waves. The static of CMB radiation. The radio observation of cosmic microwave background radiation was first believed to be the uniform glow or echo of the Big Bang. The COB satellite measured the diffuse infrared and microwave radiation surrounding Earth in every direction. The cold spot anomaly discovered by the WMAP heat map disproves uniformity of CMB. Revealed Hawkins radiation anomalies also disprove uniformity of the CMB radiation. Does Big Bang expansion cause the redshift of galaxy light waves? The redshift of distant light waves is the foundation of Big Bang cosmology. The black intergalactic space between galaxies of light is not empty. It is alive with one electrically neutral hydrogen atom in every cubic meter and a single positive naked proton and one negative free electron, each magnetically repulsing themselves and vibrating within every three cubic meters of space. Growing from one plus two equals three, three hydrogen atoms, an electron and a proton naturally organize into three cubes of plasma. They multiply three times three equals nine into a basic electromagnetic crystal matrix of three cubed equals 27, with each matrix containing 27 neutral hydrogen atoms, nine vibrating positive protons, and nine vibrating negative electrons. The mathematical crystal matrices of the elemental, electrically neutral, and conducting ionized gas plasma faithfully transmit light waves from source to destination, releasing a tiny bit of energy with each interaction along the way. Redshift is believed to result from the Doppler effect of receding light sources. When the object is moving, the wavelength becomes stretched. Dark energy is also believed to cause cosmological redshift. Edwin Hubble, who discovered redshift, did not believe in the Big Bang. New tired light alternatives to Big Bang redshift. Moving photons are absorbed and readmitted by electrons in the plasma. Each photon-electron interaction reduces the light wave's frequency and increases its length. Tired light may also account for the cosmic microwave background radiation. Every time a photon interacts with an electron, it loses energy into the intergalactic medium plasma and may contribute to the cosmic microwave background. If the CMB and the redshift of galaxy light waves are due to tired light photon-electron interaction in the intergalactic medium plasma, the universe of light is static. It is not expanding, and most likely, there is an infinite number of mother galaxies as far as we can ever observe. With appreciation, this presentation borrowed brief clips from the following YouTube videos, which should be directly viewed for more information. With great respect, this presentation used clips 
from the following public videos. This non-commercial presentation includes dozens of images found on the internet and used with great appreciation, but without proper attribution due to the impossibility of identifying and contacting owners of the original sources. If the owner of any such image objects to its use, please email the author with details and the image will be removed. The author especially thanks Eric J. Lerner and his book, The Big Bang Never Happened, for introducing evidence disproving the standard model of cosmology, and Professor Louis Marmet for his invitation to join a cosmology group where dissident scientists have the freedom to disagree with settled science and to publish alternative theories refused by mainstream authorities. Dedicated to Christian Birkeland, Edwin Hubble, and Hans Alvin, who discovered the electromagnetic plasma universe and whose work has been mischaracterized and misused by the gravitationalists, who defend the false Big Bang cosmology by ignoring and disparaging all challenges. Music by Scott Buckley and Johannes Brahms. To be presented by William John Cox at the Science of Consciousness Conference in Tucson, Arizona in April 22nd to the 27th of 2024. Greatly appreciated, Avi Montefiore and Stuart Hameroff at the Center for Consciousness Studies, the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona, for making this presentation possible.